I want to show you the simplest way for putting any image inside of any text. First, let's start a new project. I'll just go ahead and open this image that I have in the background as a new project. And I'm going to go ahead and unlock this. This is going to be my first layer. Then I need to press the plus sign in the very bottom to create another layer. This is going to become our text layer. So I'll just press T on my keyboard or choose the T option right here to get the text tool and type your text. So I'm going to type life. And then with your text selected, you could change the font and you could change the font size. So you want something nice, big and bold here. And I'm going to press the check mark and then I'll choose the move tool and kind of move this in the center. Now, make sure this is as large as you want, but you can edit this text and change the size in a bit. I also recommend a third layer. So I'm going to create another layer here and I'm going to choose the shape tool. So the rectangle tool here, and I'm going to just draw a rectangle here. So this could become our background. Now let's put these layers in the right order. The background, which is this rectangle is going to be on the very bottom. The text layer is going to be the second layer in the middle and the top layer is going to be our image. Now, all I have to do is take this and I need to do what's called a clipping mask. If you right click on this here and I'm just using a Mac, so I'm pressing control and clicking, there's something called create clipping mask. As soon as you click this, it creates this little arrow here and it takes this image and puts it inside of this text. Now what I could do is again, I could choose the move tool here and I could move this around to make sure it's placed in the right place. I could double click on the text if I want to edit or change the size. Let's say I want to make it a little bit bigger. And I typically like to go to my rectangle tool here and I could change the background color. So this rectangle tool, I could double click on it and add, for example, a gradient overlay. So this option lets you create lots of different types of gradients based on lots of different colors that you could choose. And the last thing I like to do is I like to give the text a little bit of a bevel. So again, with the layer style, double click right here and there's a bevel tool. So if you select that option, it has lots of different settings, but you could give it a nice bevel like you see around the edges here and press OK. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you next time.